Hello, it's Maria Burke here with you today. Thank you for joining me on my Artist Maria Burke YouTube channel. And today I want to talk to you about this little painting that I have here. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do it. This is the more or less the finished product. Um, it was very, very simple to paint. It's colourful, it's quite impressionistic. So if you'd like to paint something like this, why don't you join with me for the rest of the video and I'll show you how I did it. And just, just to start off, I used a ground, something like this. So a ground is the underpainting. So I basically, I, when I had the white canvas, I painted it with acrylic paint. I gave it a wash of a colour just like this. Um, and maybe even kept it a bit lighter at the edge and darker more towards, you see this corner over here, I gave it a kind of a more orangey, fading it up to a, a paler orange on this corner. And, uh, and that was the under, just the, the ground for the painting. And then I painted over that. So I'll be explaining exactly how I did it. And it was really simple to paint. So please join with me today. And uh, thank you for watching. So we're just uh, getting started on this canvas. As you can see, I put down a, it's pretty much an orangey kind of fading up to a pale orange on the top left hand corner and a darker orange. And I put that down in acrylic paint. So that was my ground. And now I let that dry, it dries very quickly in acrylics. And now I'm putting down um, oil paint. So I've mixed together a, a mixture of a rose coloured um, oil paint, rose matter and uh, some Prussian blue. And those colours, you can use ultramarine, you know, you can use, you could just buy purple oil paint and it would work just as well, whatever you've got at hand. But I tend to keep my colours simple and I just mix up my own colours from very few and maybe Maybe using five or six tubes of paint and mixing everything up from those. Uh, so yeah, obviously this is a uh, becoming more blue, and uh, really working on darker shades. So mixing them in, and I'm kind of using the brush to give it's slightly different to the last painting I did where I just kind of gave a wash of oil color over the acrylic uh, ground but this time I'm just experimenting with using the brush to give a tangle to put in a tangle of um, undergrowth and on top of that I'll be painting the flowers I'm going to be scratching back again so I'm just going through this process with you Yeah, adding in a bit of green. So just bringing in as many colours, you know, as, as I can. The colours really of the, what I think is going to be the final painting. So these are kind of grasses, more the yellow colours are coming up towards the light at the top of the painting. This is going to be just a small horizon uh, at the very, uh, a small bit of sky above the horizon. And, um, the top of the painting really there's going to be trees it ends up i think at the beginning i wasn't a hundred percent sure what was going to what the subject matter at the top of the painting was going to be i was thinking maybe of just flowers fading upwards um into the sky but then as i went on it just it just turned out that there were trees um on the horizon on the background and the orange color as as i continued with painting the orange color it just became more important to me and i've called this painting um sunset garden and i'm really sticking with the garden theme on these paintings i've, I've just really been thinking about gardens thinking about spring thinking about new life coming in and yeah just that whole idea of the garden of eden and how beautiful it must have been uh, before things went wrong and people turned away from God. Just this absolute beauty. Um, 
before man's rebellion. That there must have been a, a, just an amazing garden. And every spring, you know, after the winter dies out and the summer comes, um, in the springtime, at the end of winter, we have a new beginning again. New light, new growth, new life. Everything is coming back. The sunshine, the warmth, the heat, everything is just absolutely amazing. As, as I'm looking around us now, it's just the beginning of May. The beauty that's around us, is it's just so hopeful. Even though a lot of us are locked in and uh, we're not allowed to go. I'm, we're only at the moment allowed to go two kilometres from um, our home for walks. But even on those two kilometres, I can go and I can just look at beautiful new flowers, new growth coming in. And it gives hope for the future. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of new beginnings, new life, new hope. And with God, there's always this amazing hope. We have this hope for our future, that there will be a beautiful garden like this again. So yeah, bringing some of that orange in now. Bringing back the orange. And as I went on, this painting just became more orangey. And that's why it became sunset. So what was I working from? So I, I take a lot of photographs of, a lot. I have photographs that I've taken um, last year, the year before, from County Kerry. And, um, and I go there every summer and I go down near the seaside and there's a real abundance of wildflowers down there in the summer so I have taken a lot of photographs of those flowers um, Montbrecia, uh, you've got all sorts of dandelions all sorts of wild angelica all, all these various plants sometimes I look up the names of them often I don't even it doesn't even bother me what they are um, I just kind of use them roughly um, I look at them and then I paint them. I've been painting them for years and I really love them. So really what I've got here is just a tangle of undergrowth. I'm just, the underpainting here is just a very, very impressionistic uh, style and view of the undergrowth. And I have a, a picture, but I'm not really looking at it. I have a photograph, uh, but I'm not looking at it very closely. I think I veered quite a lot away from this photograph. But just looking at the photograph just gave me the, those lovely purples and pinks and just generally the colors. But um, there's no point in showing you the photograph because I actually completely moved away from it and created something else. So I'm bringing some of the sky into this, um, what do we call it, undergrowth or whatever is up there at the top of the painting. In the end it turned into trees, that there were trees in the background, like an orchard or something like that. Um, and I'm bringing the light down in through the trees into the painting, bringing some of that blue sky right down. Down, down, down into the painting. As I'm just really playing with the colours, with the light, and I haven't really gone into detail or subject matter. I haven't really got into that yet. So excuse my head, this is in real time. Uh, I haven't speeded this up. I will speed the end of the painting up maybe a little bit. So I've gone on to using my brush now and I've chosen a thin brush, a narrow brush, quite a narrow brush for starting my brush, my detail with. 
bringing in the darker colors there. And again, I'm still just playing around with this tangle of undergrowth. And, and that's something I often think about. If I try and paint, I, I suppose just this is a tip or some advice for people who are painting flowers. If you try and paint it perfectly, it'll become very stiff. And this is why I've started the, um, just, just really being playful about it and creating a tangle underneath and on top of that then I can paint the flowers and I can paint the painting. So this is me scratching again. So I just took a palette knife with the rounded top and I'm scratching into that, creating um, just stems of plants branches and as I'm scratching back I'm going back to the the ground that I created initially in acrylics some the oils are they they just take so long to dry that it's I can work away in oils for ages and then I can scrape them back but the acrylic is there underneath the acrylic under uh, the ground that I painted underneath so I'm not going back to white canvas and scraping back to a colour, the orangey colour that I lay down underneath. So it's giving me different colours, so where I put the purple on top, I can scrape back to another colour underneath. So it just means that you, when you're, you know, doing your, putting down your ground, you're thinking about what do you want to shine through your painting. So it's just a little bit of planning. You could you could do a green underpainting, and then you would have when you scrape back the colours, you'd have green underneath. So yeah, just scraping back. And as I scrape back, this wasn't intentional, these trees started appearing up on top. And it just gave me the idea of grasses then. These grasses are coming in. This was just intuitive. Uh, I wasn't planning any of this. But I think just when I created the underpainting, I just saw the shapes of trees emerging and, and I'm coming down now to the bigger branches down be below or the bigger plants. So, if you like this painting, please subscribe. It's really wonderful to get people uh, to see the subscriptions and people subscribing. Um, it's really lovely to see that and, um, and to know that people are following along and that they're enjoying this. And if you want to make comments, I would love to hear your comments. If I'm not explaining this well enough, this technique well enough, just come in with a question and I will do my very best to answer it or I'll address it in the next video. And if you'd like me to look at your own work, just send me a photo. Um, you can send me a photo on my Facebook page. Uh, or on my WordPress site. Just send me a link to wherever you have your photo and I'll take a look at it. Um, or you can share it with me just up on Facebook. It's easy to share a photograph. And um, if you want me to comment on it or if you have a question to ask about your own work or if you just want to show me your version of this picture, I would just love um, if this inspired to do somebody to do something similar because uh, this is really, really easy to do and it's just very playful and I, I'm not putting on a lot of paint here as you can see, it's just lightly painted. 
But as I go on, I'll add more layers of colour. And that's, that's what painting is all about. It's just about adding in more and more layers. So what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm bringing in little marks and bringing them in in between those stems. It's, it's almost like um, painting between the lines. Colouring between the lines. That's kind of my approach at the moment. Um, but I'm not going to colour everywhere between the lines because I want some of that underpainting to shine through. So I'm allowing those scratch marks to appear and I'm painting between them and bringing in the darker shapes now. Yeah. So it's still just very playful. And yeah, I often find that just, you know, in the beginning, I used to study a lot uh, of photographs and work directly from photographs. And I did learn a lot from working from photographs. And that's usually, if I haven't painted for a while, that's the way I'm gonna have to go. I have to go back to working from photographs and you find if you're working from a photograph after a while you really really looked at that plant or that foliage or those flowers and you begin to really get to know the shapes of the flowers intuitively and how the flowers work <laughs> like because a flower can look so so different from every angle how does the flower uh, look in certain lighting So the more I look at the photographs, the more I get to know the flowers. And then after a while, I can just come back and paint them from memory and do a more intuitive painting like this. As I think at the moment I'm, I'm looking at that laptop behind and I'm looking at some other pictures. and adding in some lighter colours now, bringing in my lights. So I hope you enjoy this painting today. I'm going to um, just let you watch the rest of it um, and I will I hope you stay with it to the end and I will just stop doing the audio now and just let the video run and um, and you can just watch it without the vo voiceover. So hope you enjoy it and that you join with me for the next video. I'm, I'm working on this theme at the moment and I've got a bigger one coming, a larger painting coming um, that has a lot more detail. Um, much more of a garden kind of idea coming into it so thank you so much for watching today do stay to the end and I'll probably speed up a little bit at the end and you'll see the final painting at the very very end so it's great to have you with me and I'll talk to you soon God bless and bye-bye